Hi all, welcome to the quiz for Python programming. Why learn Python? Because using Python, you can build almost anything. Python can be used for web development, game development, computer vision, robotics, graphical user interface, and also Python is the number one language of choice for machine learning, data science, and artificial intelligence. So the goal of this course is to provide you the working knowledge of Python programming. In this video, I am going to give you a brief introduction of Python. So let's get started. What is Python? Python is a high level dynamically tied programming language. Python support multiple programming language including object oriented embedded functional and procedure styles python is a interpreted language what is mean by interpreted language so what is interpreted language first of all we have an idea about what is compiled language and what is interpreted language so some languages like c c++ java are all translated by running the source code through a tool called compile. This compilation of source code results in a very efficient bytecode that can be executed in any number of times. Now, interpreted languages like Python in contrast must be passed, interpreted and executed each time the program is run, thereby greatly adding the cost of running the program. So a compiled language takes the entire program as a single input and converts it into machine code or byte code which is stored in a file called a binary file. On the other hand, interpreted language like Python paste the single instruction as the single input and executed that particular instruction. Now compile language is run faster because compiler is done before the execution. On the other hand, in interpreted program runs slower because compilation and execution take place simultaneously. In case Python, even though it is an interpreted language, but it is very fast. Python supports dynamic data type and to understand this we need to understand the difference between statically typed programming languages and dynamically typed programming languages. So at a statically programmed, statically typed programming languages do type checking at the compiled time for dynamic do type checking at the runtime. Example. Uh, a variable x is equal to 3 in python python will do its type checking in runtime whether it is integer type or floating type or double value type that will carry down its runtime also python independent from platforms what uh, python can be used in any platform like windows linux mac unix python focuses on faster development type so Python code has very natural style which make it easy to read and understand. No need for uh, using semicolon or braces in Python coding. That means faster development time. Python is a highly readable language and has a clean visual layout. So we can like to read it as an English language. It has a high level internal object data types, it has automated memory management and at last Python is free and open source. That means you don't need to pay anything to start learning Python. So let's discuss the history of Python. Python was conceived in late 1980s and its implementation was started in December 1989 by a developer called Gudio Van Rossum and he is from Netherlands. And Rosam was a fanboy of Monty Python Flying Circus. This is a famous TV show in Netherlands. So he chose the name Python. And the name picked in 19, December 1989. Goodyear Van Rosam is currently working in Dropbox, a company. 
and first public release was on uh, February 1991. .org website was formed on 1996 or 1997. Python Software Foundation was formed on 2001. And Van Rusum was and Van Rusum remained the uh, principal director of Python. And he get a title called Benevolent Director of Life. That's all about uh, the history of Python and uh, it is an uh, open source. Why we learn Python? Because Python is fun to use scripting language. As I already said that it is a multi paradigm programming language which supports object oriented, imperative, functional programming and procedure styles so that it is highly recommended for the educational purpose and most of the educational institution choose it uh, python as a first language which they teach to their students and why it is the first choice for educational institute because it is very easy to learn and it can be run in any platform python is very powerful and scalable and easy to maintain programming language which has high productivity and it has lot of libraries that can a developer uh, that a developer can use and python act as a glue language because it is interactive front end for fortran c c++ so when you develop in python it reduces the development time reduce the code length easy to learn and use as a developer easy to understand codes easy to do team projects, easy to extend to other languages. So where we can use Python? Python is used in many web development framework and Python is very widely used in scientific computing such as machine learning, data analysis, data visualization like that. We already said that uh, Python is a scripting language uh, if we are doing prototyping, it is really efficient to use Python. Python is also used in the development of graphical user interfaces, embedded applications, gaming and develop tools. We said that Python is very easy to learn. It's used for educational purposes. So it is used as the first programming language for teaching programming. So which is better, Python 2 or Python 3, which is better? I recommend Python 3 because it is uh, most modern and it is the more popular one. So we are studying this course in Python 3.